everyone and welcome to my IGTV! Today I will show you some winter nail art with the how you can make a candy, man candy, red and, and, and white. So, you want to see? Come with me. So, what I will use, it's Roxanne Envol Glacket. This is the beautiful red that this company have. Roxanne. So I apply on a nail tip. Okay, there it is. So I apply one small coat. And don't forget to do the free edge before and after. There we go just a small coat and look how it's almost opaque so and after that when it's cured this is my first coat <laughs> I will do so and I will make another one so start with the free edge all the time and after put your second coat this is 100 percent of gel and I'm in love with the lacquer just because of the opacity that I want to use for for my customer and also for my nail art what I will do today it's that it's like a matte okay matte um, finish with some spike with uh, some woo, really funny um, uh, candies here so how I can make my candies and what is really nice too it's you can make your candies before when you have a uh, when you have a time free and everything so I start with my um, silicone uh, silicone uh, silicone palette and I will use a, a white so I will put some just a drop here of the white like so and after that I will put here my red one I will use my pencil two and one so I have one here square to apply my gel or for one stroke and one really detailed brush with my detailed brush I will took a little bit of the um, of the red and I will put at the edge of the white and go at the middle of my white and I will turn like that Oop. and after that I will put my my brush in the middle and just turn really gentle just in the middle to make like a beautiful spiral as you see and go curing what i really love too it's the silicone uh, palettes it's a little bit clear transparent so it's really easy to cure correctly go in lamp for one minute with me my two others colors what I will do I will put my matte top coat and I will use also a lacquer top coat matte it's almost finished <laughs> it's always like that almost finished my white and I a small coat at the same time I will do the, the other one There we go. This. And when now uh, you need to apply really nice top coat because if you don't do that, everything will be show with the mat. As you know, every error you will see it. I can take it off 
now and look Ooh, a small candy small cane i can put after that a top coat this is a no wipe top coat on a top to to make sure that it's really circle and go curing again after that as you see i put matte and after i put like some because my inspiration i will show you what it is sweet tooth so all my inspiration it's cake for <laughs> <laughs> i know cake and also uh, oh yeah cake with oreo mm. and also what i have it's uh, uh, uh um, it, it's a uh, cookies too inspiration so i make some different nail art that you can see on my instagram pictures so <laughs> this is my inspiration <laughs> look at the mat really nice really velour i will paint le glaçage icing the icing of the cake And as you see, the icing of the cake, it's completely different of the icing ice. The, it's, it's more like a drop. It's not like a line. And um, so it's more really, really um, a drop of uh, water, something like that. Don't put too much top coat uh, not top coat but the um, um, the lacket because it's a lacket color so look how it's opaque so but if you put it too much you will have like some problem when they will curing so you want to have flat nut shrinkle gel after curing You can also, you can leave it like that and curve, or you can sparkle with, with effect with, um, with the powder, clear powder, or uh, to make some matte and more texturing. But as my picture is more glassy more um, shiny effect that I want because I also have the matte effect down there so it's give me a contrast and I like to have different contrast and different looking I can drop more yeah because one here more nom 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 so after I finish that, go curing again. So here I have my small candy. And I can file it to round shape. And I also, what I saw, it's a snowflake inside on the top of the cake. So I will do it here. on my silicone so I will have 2D 3D nail art it's a flat 3D nail art so I can be able to to attach them after that with my candy and you will have some different um, different uh, like texture Give you dimension and don't forget you can really you you can really be really thin on your line but attach on each other because if you don't do that you will lose some detail of your snowflake so here attach them here but I'm really surprised when I do that how really thin I can get and it's work so 
So when you have a customer who cancel at the <laughs> like a last minute, you can play around and make some decoration that you can sell after for your nails. You don't lose your time. That and some dots. Maybe you will have some dots texturing. There you go. Go peering. <laughs> After that, I suggest you to use um, to attach your decoration something more strong, like a, a built gel, or if you uh, don't have um, really with, I will I will do it with my, here with my uh, top coat, but if you want to keep it longer, use some art gel, a built gel. So to attach them, I will use um, my pencil here to grab them, or you did that too, and just incorporate it here. Oh, love it! I also really love when you use like some this caviar to have different kind of. And look of my, I just, oop, oop. I have really, really thin snowflake, but in 3D effect. Go there. And for that, I prefer to use these and attach to my nails like a small candy you will find on a cake. I think it's coca, coca candies. And also you can make some pearl. As my inspiration, as the picture that I found. So how I can show different... It's not what you see normally, but also you really see that it's for Christmas. There we go. Go curing again. So, goodbye everyone. Thank you to watching this IGTV in English. See you soon, my friends.